the barriers I faced as a woman seeking recovery was more to do with my family, I think. Um, accessing services as well, because if you go to services as a woman, then people automatically assume that you're going to have your children taken off you. And as much as I was an addict, the main thing, I loved my kids, I just couldn't stop taking drugs. Women's recovery groups are important because it gives it gives women that bond with other women that's in the same situation, that, um, to let them know that they're not alone, that there's other people out there that's gone through the same things. And it helps you build up proper friendships because when we're an addict, we don't have real friends, we've just got people we used with. I think women are, everybody in addiction stigmatised, but certainly women because we're the main caregivers. Um, and it's seen that a woman shouldn't be acting like that, but if it was that easy, none of us would be doing it. So I think strong women in recovery is really important to let other people know that's coming through, that there's, there's hope out there. What I've gained from being a woman in recovery is the respect back from my family and my kids. Um, my recovery took me to a dark place, took me to jail, and when I came out of the prison, it was really difficult because I had to rebuild all the bonds that I had lost through my addiction, through being away from my family. But slowly but surely, because you're in recovery and you're surrounding yourself with good people, you get those things back and you start to get that wee bit of self-respect back about you and you can walk in the street with your head held high.